Hi, welcome to the video on wave calculations practice part one. In this video, we're going to look at examples for um, calculating either distance, speed, or time of a wave using the distance, speed, time magic triangle. So before you've watched this video, you should have watched the first video, which shows you how to use that magic triangle and a bit about distance, speed, and time. So what you're going to do in these problems, there are several here. You're going to read the problems and then underneath the problem, there's a table that you'll fill out. And I've started filling out this first one. So in the first column where it says formula, you're going to write the formula that you need to use to solve that particular problem. In the second part, you're going to show your setup. So for the setup, you're going to write down um, the information that you're given, and then you're going to show how you plug that the given or given values into your, your formula or equation to calculate your unknown. Finally, you're going to record your final answer with units. So let's get started on this first example here. So in this first example, it's simple. It's not really a word problem. Distance equals question mark. So that's my unknown. Speed is 4.5 meters per second and time is 135 seconds. So this one, I'm not really trying to figure out what my speed, distance, or time are. I'm given is pretty simple. So now you'll notice that in the formula calculation, I wrote distance is equal, or D is equal to S times T. D is distance, S is speed, and T is time. So how did I get that? Remember the one that you're looking for, you're looking for your distance. You're gonna cover that, so I'm covering that here. And that leaves me with S and T. And the ones that are next to each other, you're gonna multiply them. So it's S times T. That's how I got this part. So my distance is equal to speed times time, or multiplied by time. All right, now in this next part where it says show your setup, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the values that you're given. So I'm given my speed, I'm using the symbol S for that, it's 4.5 meters per second. And I'm also given the times that are 135 seconds. So I wrote that up here. Then what I did was I took my givens and on the line underneath, I wrote distance equals to um, my speed, 4.5 times my, multiplied by my time. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do that calculation. So to get my distance, I need to take the 4.5 and multiply it by the 135. So I do 4.5 times 1, 3, 5. And that gives me a distance of 607.5. So I'm going to write that here. Okay. Now, for my final answer, I need to write this value, 607.5, but I also need my units. And this is where this will help you, this table up here will help you. So um, since I'm calculating my distance, my, my um, units will be in M meters. So I'm writing 605 meters. Okay. All right, let's do the next example together. This one's more of a word problem. And um, then the rest you are going to do on your own. Okay, all right. So this problem says you are at your house with which is 25,378 meters from the epicenter of an earthquake. And I'm just gonna go ahead and underline this key information, because when I see a number, I know that's important information. So 25,378 meters from the epicenter of an earthquake. The P wave is traveling at a speed of 120 meters per second. How long, so my time, do you have to get to a safe place. So in this case, I'm looking for my time. My time is my unknown, okay? So T equals question mark. And I'm given these other two values. So <clears throat> what are these other two values? This 25,378 meters, that's my distance. And I know it's my dis distance because the um, units, M meters, matches what I'm given here. So I'm given distance and I am also given the speed. They tell me it's the speed, sorry. Okay, 120 meters per second. So I'm given these two things. I'm given distance and speed, I'm looking for time. So remember for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the T and that means that the equation for, temp for time is going to be distance over S or distance divided by S. So now I'm gonna go ahead and write my formula here. So time, which is what I'm looking for, Put that first equals distance and i'll use a slash here divided by s okay 
All right, now I'm going to, in my setup, I'm going to go over here and to show my setup, um, the first value I see, the 25,378. Remember, that is my distance. D equals 25,378 meters. And I know it's my distance because meters, um, the unit of meters is the unit for distance. The other thing I'm given, I'm going to separate this by a comma, is my speed. So the symbol for that is the S, and that is equal to 120 meters per second. So I'll just write that here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two numbers and plug them into my time equation. So T is equal. The top number is going to be my distance. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the 25,378 and then divide. And then the bottom number, I'm going to divide that by 120, which is my speed. Okay. So let's go ahead over to our calculator. This is the calculation I want to do. So 2,500, so 25,378 divided by 120. Go ahead and clear that. 25,378 divided by 120. And that gives me my value here. And I'm just going to use, um, I'm just going to use one decimal place. So I'm going to cut it off between the four and the eight. And since the number to the right of the cutoff is greater than four, so so if anything five or higher, you're going to round this up. So this is going to be 211.5. Okay, so now I have my value here in time. Um, and so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to rewrite that, my answer. But I'm also going to include my unit. So what units am I going to use for time? It's going to be seconds, S for seconds. Okay, so that is that. Now you'll notice that this one has an extra credit question, how many minutes? So if you know the seconds, you can calculate the minutes um, by taking 0.5 divided by 60, because there's 60 seconds in a minute, and then that will give you the answer. So if I go back over here, divided by 60, I get about three and a half minutes. So that means that I would have three and a half minutes to get out of my house um, and, and go to a safe place if this earthquake was happening. All right, so that is it for this video. I showed you how to use that. You have two more examples to do on your own um, with an optional extra credit. You don't have to do this, but you can if you want to. And um, what you're going to do is you are going to um, do this work and then later submit it. All right, have a quality day.